we're flying my 1949 Cessna 140A from Camarillo to Gillespie Field in San Diego for a Garmin install at Neal Aviation. If you're new here, my name is Stevie. I own this 1949 Cessna 140A, and I also own a 1952 Beechcraft Bonanza. Around this time last year, I took my Bonanza to Neal Aviation to get a full Garmin install done on its panel, and it turned out amazing. We also added watt lights, size fuel senders. It was on display at Oshkosh last year, and it's been so fun to fly since I got the new avionics. And today, we're starting the same process on my 1949 Cessna 140A. While I love this airplane the way it is, it definitely has bare bones avionics and equipment in here. The goal is to maintain the vintage feel of the airplane while bringing the avionics and equipment up to 2023 standards. It's going to take us about two and a half hours to get there, so I figured we can talk about all the upgrades that are going to be happening when we're in the airplane, so I'm so excited to share it with you, but we gotta get going, so let's hop in the airplane, let's go and head down to San Diego. So we've got our headset here. Let's get our seat belts on. This airplane is a lot smaller than the Bonanza, that is for sure. Fuel selector is on both. Our doors are shut, we'll keep the window open for now. Everything is off, I already checked that. Everything is set, so we'll go extra rich. Put our keys on both here. Are you guys ready? I think I'm ready. Primer's locked, that's good. Keys are on both. Clear! All right. All right, our oil temp and pressure are both in the green. We're gonna pull the engine back quite a bit here and we'll pick up some weather. And of course, I did not straighten my tailwheel. Our information, Sierra time 1955 Zulu, wind 2508, visibility 10, zero, few clouds 1300, temperature 17, dew point 12, altimeter 3001. Camarillo ground, Cessna 90477 Alpha, east end with Sierra, ready for taxi for an eastbound departure. 90477 Alpha, Camarillo ground, runway 26, taxi via Golf Alpha, expect to write down one. 26 via Golf Alpha, expect to write down one, 9477 Alpha. Nice slow taxi Tires here. Out. We are flying from Camarillo to Gillespie Field in San Diego. And it's gonna take us about two and a half hours to get there because we are going all the way around the LAX class Bravo. So we don't have a lot of navigation equipment on this airplane. We have a radio and a transponder and that's it. So we can't use any of the VOR radials to navigate through the LAX class Bravo. So we're going around, which is fine. I think it'll be nice to take a little scenic route. We got full tanks, we got plenty of oil, plenty of time. <laughs> so I think it'll be a good flight. It's a little windy today, but it's right down the runway and it's nice and sunny. So another reason why I'm so excited to get a GPS and a nav radio in this airplane is to be able to go through the class Bravo in all the VFR corridors. Okay, let's do our run up. This airplane's pretty simple, so I have a nice flow for the run up. Check our flight controls. Mixture's coming rich. Throttle up. We got oil uh, pressure. Alpha Amps are good. All right, let's get our frequencies in. 128.2 for tower. Six Everything four, looks good delta, to me. I think we're ready to go. Box. Ground Cessna 90477 Alpha, runner complete. 77 Alpha, continue tax and contact tower. Contact tower, 77 Alpha. Over to tower. All righty. We are going to take off, make a right downwind departure, and climb to 5,500. And Cessna 9477 Alpha, camera tower, hold short of runway 26. Hold short runway 26, 9477 Alpha. Cross one corrections, all the time. <laughs> and Cessna 77 Alpha, right down on departure approved, runway 26, clear for takeoff. Right down on departure, runway 26, clear for takeoff, 9477 Alpha. Cessna 79478, camera Rio tower, to hold short of runway 26. Final's clear, runway clear. Short of runway 26, the cookie lady, thank you. In career track 544, number two, following the Cherokee ahead of you, extending in the downwind, runway 26, clear for the option. Number two, 26, clear for the option, traffic in sight, career track 544. In Cessna 858, number three, follow traffic Cessna, Extra tower, runway 26, clear for the option. 858, number three, following traffic, uh, South Beam Tower. Clear for the option. Airspeed's alive, uh, temperature pressure good. And Cessna 79478, your right turnout is approved. All right, there we go. 77 seven Romeo, call or brace. Cherokee 77 seven Romeo, we'll co expect a half mile. We are clear to the right, nobody coming from the left. 
Cessna 490094, Cambridge Tower, hold short of runway 26. Hold short 26, Cessna 4. All right, downwind. All right, we are climbing up to 5,500. Cessna 9477 Alpha, request a frequency change to Point Magoo. Cessna 77 Alpha, frequency change approved. 77 Alpha, see you later. Magoo approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, VFR request. That's going to approach again. Cessna 90477 Alpha, VFR request. Say request. Cessna 90477 Alpha just departed Camarillo, 2000 climbing 5500, and we'd like flight following to Gillespie Field, Sierra Echo Echo. And at what altitude? 5500, 9477 Alpha. November 77 Alpha, Squawks 4733. 4733, 9477 Alpha. 77 Alpha, radar contact 5 east of Camarillo, 2500, indicated altimeter 3003. 0377 Alpha. Hour and 54 to go. Well, we are going very slowly. I just want everyone to know that we're doing 68 knots over the ground right now. In the Bonanza, we'd be doing about 120 knots in the climb, so you could say we're going a little slow. November 77 Alpha, contact SoCal approach 134.2. 134.2, 9477 Alpha. Have a good one. You too. SoCal approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 4600, climbing 5500. Cessna 90477 Alpha, SoCal approach, Burbank altimeter 2998. Will you be requesting the cold crew? 98, and we would like to go around the Bravo to the east via the Pomona VOR. 977 Alpha, copy all. So fun. <laughs> 300 to go. So slow. We would have been at 5,500 like forever ago in the Bonanza. We're almost there. Uh, 015. All right, there's 5,500. We are leveled out at 5,500. That's at 247, traffic 10 o'clock, 6 miles, eastbound, Cessna, 5,500. That's 247, right? That's me. November 77 Alpha, traffic 12 o'clock, 5 miles, northwestbound, Challenger, 6,000. They'll be turning westbound shortly and pass off your left. 77 Alpha's looking. So, I haven't actually announced this airplane yet, like at the time of filming this video. Obviously, by the time this is out, everybody will know I have a Cessna 140, but it's kind of fun. We are coming up on the Burbank Class Charlie, but we'll be above it. Cessna 478, traffic 12 o'clock, 3 miles, northbound Cessna 3100. Uh, he's almost north of final. You'll pass behind him. Lots of traffic below. Cessna 77 Alpha, contact approach 124.6. 124.6, 9477 Alpha. Have a good day. SoCal approach, hello, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 5500. Cessna 90477 Alpha, SoCal approach, turn left heading 050, like for traffic. Left heading 050, 9477 Alpha. Cessna 1052, contact Los Angeles Center, 12528. 258, Southwest 1052, good day. Busy day in SoCal. Like at what point do you ask if they still want you on this airplane? And 14 on November 90477 Alpha, resume navigation. Look now, 9477 Alpha. Departure eject card 452, uh, 2500, climb 4000. Card 452, so the departure, right of contact, climb and change 5000. 5000, eject card 452. We are past Burbank. We had a little bit of a heading change for traffic, and we're just passing downtown LA off of our right side. So we're making progress. I do get really kind of stressed about these trips in advance though. Like I, any long cross country, especially through like LAX Class Bravo, San Diego Class Bravo. So I made this like sheet of my trip and everything down to frequencies, altitudes, everything. So I've got that next to me. I would rather be over prepared than under prepared. So if we stay at 5,500 for pretty much this entire trip till we get towards the Class Bravo, we will not hit any airspace, which is super nice. We will be either above or below all airspace. Once we get down to San Diego, we will have to descend to go kind of through this mess of airspace between the San Diego Class Bravo, Montgomery, and Gillespie. But sometimes when you're like 50 miles out from Gillespie, SoCal Approach will just give you direct to the airport, just completely through the Bravo and everything. So hopefully that happens for us. Remember 90477 Alpha, contact approach 125.5. 125.5, 9477 Alpha, see ya. Okay. SoCal Approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 5500. 90477 Alpha, SoCal, Ontario, Altimeter 2, 996, Coastal or Inland Routing. 996 and say again the last part, 9477 Alpha. Are you going Coastal or Inland Routing? Inland via Pomona VOR and then Coastal after Pomona VOR, 9477 Alpha. Oh, Roger, do not navigate over Pomona, proceed direct Paradise, then resume navigation. Direct Paradise, then resume on navigation, 9477 Alpha. Okay, change in plans. <laughs> We are coming up on uh, Ontario now, so we're, we're getting there. <laughs> Just always, always airspace, always reroutes, always traffic, SoCal.
Camarillo's nice because you can fly southbound and get a lot of, you know, busy SoCal practice, or you can fly northbound and just not talk to anybody. We're coming up on the Paradise VOR. We're also right above Chino right now. It's a little out of the way, it's all good. Like I said, always an adventure. SoCal Cessna 90477 Alpha, confirm own navigation after Paradise. 777 Alpha, affirmative. 77 Alpha, thank you. We'll head back out to the coast. Oh, you wanted to take the coast 77 Alpha. The next time, let us know a little sooner. Let the last controller know 77 Alpha. I'm really sorry. You didn't tell me that. All good, 77 Alpha. Nice day for a scenic flight anyway. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to head down over John Wayne? Is that the plan? A firm, 77 Alpha. For 77 Alpha, Roger. Number 9 or 477 Alpha, contact approach 121.3. 121.3, 9477 Alpha. Have a good day. Thanks, you too. SoCal approach, Cessna 9 or 477 Alpha, 5500. Cessna 9 or 477 Alpha, SoCal approach, the Gowan Alpha, 9 or 8. 9 or 8, 9477 Alpha. We've amended our plan, but we are going back to our original route down the coast, so we'll be back on track soon. Just slight diversion, and everything's looking good. 77 Alpha, you're planning staying east of John Wayne? A firm, 9477 Alpha. Sometimes when I'm flying through SoCal, I honestly wasn't sure if that controller meant to send me there, if he thought maybe I wanted to go inland, but I sometimes don't want to question the SoCal controllers. They're so busy, and I don't want to be of any way. So even if it's just, you know, a slight 15-minute diversion, you know, it never hurts to ask, but also if it's a busy day, I sometimes just try to go with the flow. So now, instead of our original plan, we're going to head east of John Wayne, and we'll intercept the coast south of John Wayne and go from there. And we have just about an hour to go, so we're doing pretty good. 77 Alpha, Cox Approach 124.1. 124.1, 9477 Alpha. Have a good day. Yes. SoCal Approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 5500. 77 Alpha, SoCal Approach, thanks, Altimeter 29907. So this panel right now is very basic. From left to right here, we have our turn and bank indicator, our airspeed indicator, vertical speed, a compass, our altimeter, and our tachometer. And then we have our amps, a clock, oil pressure, and oil temperature down here at the bottom. Over here, we have a very simple radio transponder stack, no nav capability, and you can't monitor a second frequency on the radio. During this upgrade, we're going to be adding two Garmin GI-275s, the attitude indicator and the HSI, which I think will go here and here. Then we're going to be adding the GNX 375 GPS transponder over here on the top. Then underneath that, we'll be adding the GNC 255 NAVCOM. This COM will not only serve as an intercom, it not only has nav capability and radio capability, but we can also monitor the standby frequency, so it almost acts as like one radio and a half. Right now, if I wanted to switch frequencies, like when we go to get the weather at Gillespie, I'll have to ask to transition frequencies to go get the weather and then come back to flight following, which can be a hassle. Besides installing all these avionics, Neil Aviation is again going to transform this panel. They're going to powder coat all of these pieces. They're going to polish the piano keys, make sure everything looks tidy. We'll probably get rid of this fake wood thing right here, similar to what the Bonanza had. Overall, just make it look super four clean and, and nice. Alpha. We'll be maintaining the vintage feel with the round dial avionics and keeping the radios in the same spot. Everything will stay pretty much in the same location. And then the panel, again, will get a nice facelift. We will also be adding new watt lights around the airplane, so new nav lights, new strobe lights, a new landing light, and a new beacon. This is a little less intrusive of an install than the Bonanza was. There's no engine monitor and no autopilot, so it shouldn't take quite as long. And after the avionics are done, we will be taking the plane from Gillespie Field, where Neil Aviation is, up to Santa Maria, where Artcraft Paint is. Artcraft is going to be painting the airplane a nice new design. I have been working with flight lines on coming up with a perfect vintage design for this airplane, and Artcraft will be executing that and not only painting the airplane, but also putting in a new interior. So this is really going to be an entirely new airplane down to almost everything except for the engine, and the transformation will be even more extreme than the Bonanza, so I'm just so excited to see what it looks like, and of course, after all this is done, we will be flying this to Oshkosh, so get excited for flying this all the way across the country to Oshkosh and back. It'll be fun. If you liked watching me hand fly my Bonanza VFR across the country, wait till you get to see me hand fly this across the country VFR at half the speed. It's going to be super fun. <laughs> Cessna 77 Alpha, traffic up clock, three miles off direction, Sirius level at 6,000. 77 Alpha is looking. 77 Alpha has traffic in sight. Roger. Another thing I'm obviously very excited for, which I was very excited for with the Bonanza, is having traffic on a GPS screen in front of me, both on the GPS and on the Don't HSI and on the attitude heading. indicator. Obviously, you want to keep your eyes outside the airplane, but it is nice to have that kind of backup. We're coming up on the restricted area south of John Wayne. 
SoCal Approach, Cessna 94770 Alpha is restricted area 2503 Delta active. Remember 9477 Alpha negative, only uh, Alpha and Bravo are active. You're good to go along the shoreline at your altitude. Thank you, 77 Alpha. Fantastic. Southwest. Along the shoreline we go. Cessna 77 Alpha, coming for 125.3. 125.3, 9477 Alpha. Have a good day. You too. So Caliper, Cessna 9477 Alpha, 5500. 9477 Alpha, advise when you have uh, Edith Victor Gillespie. 77 Alpha, any chance we could hop off frequency for a minute to grab that? 77 Alpha, right. So left three turn formation, Whiskey 2147 Zulu, wind 240 at 6, gust 20, visibility 10, sky clear. So Cal Cessna 9477 Alpha has Whiskey at Gillespie. 77 Alpha, right, you're clear through Bravo Airspace, direct Gillespie at uh, 5500. Clear through the Bravo airspace, direct to Gillespie at 5500-9477 Alpha. Love it when they do that. Yeah, three kilos Sierra, traffic uh, one o'clock at a mile, 4,500 in the queue. Looking three kilos Sierra, no joy. 30 minutes to go, we're almost there. No, over 77 Alpha, contact approach, 127.3, have a good day. 127.3-9477 Alpha, you too. SoCal approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 5,500 direct to Gillespie. Cessna 90477 Alpha, SoCal right. I love all the vintage touches in this airplane. Like, I love the bezels around the instruments. I love these smaller engine instruments down here, and especially like these metal needles inside the instruments. I think they're so cool. And I love the piano keys. My Bonanza has piano keys. My 140 has piano keys. It's so cool. I love it. And I'm so glad that we're going to be keeping all of those features throughout the upgrade. And to be able to add modern avionics to this airplane, I'm just, I'm so grateful. Like, it is going to be so unique, so cool. 20 minutes to go. The ADA said it was, I think, 240 at 6, gusting 20. So Montgomery's reporting just 7 flat out. So I'm hoping that it's not actually really gusting that much and that maybe it comes around a little bit more to be more centered with 27. I'm very sensitive to crosswind in this airplane. So if we get there and it's too gusty, too bumpy, we can always take back off and go over to Montgomery. That's kind of my backup plan. That's another 7 7 Alpha contact approach 125.3. 125.39477 Alpha, see ya. So Cal approach, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 5500 direct to Gillespie. Tongue twister. So close, we're almost there. <laughs> this has been a long flight. 77 Alpha, descend via far to 5000. Descend to 5000, 9477 Alpha. Thank you, one. There's no traffic reserve between you and the field. Remain clear if right. you don't tell me it is active. We are leveling 5000. November 77 Alpha, descend via far to 4000. Descend to 4000, 9477 Alpha. Airport in one sight. Down to 5000, that's right, descend. That was 29. There's 4000. Southwest 77 Alpha, descend unrestricted Gillespie Tower, 120.2. Descending at 127.2, 9477 Alpha. Have a good day. Gillespie Tower, Cessna 90477 Alpha, 3700, descending about 4 miles to the northwest and found the land with whiskey. Cessna 90477 Alpha, Gillespie Tower, make right traffic, runway 27 right. Right traffic, runway 27 right, 90477 Alpha. Cherokee 76 Victor, that previous call traffic at your 12 o'clock, 1 mile, opposite direction, altitude indicates 4400. Negative traffic, looking 3. 77 Alpha, if you're not familiar, base is about a one and a half mile final around the ridge, runway 27 right, clear to land. 27 right, clear to land, and we'll turn base around the ridge. 77 Alpha, thanks for the help. All right, gas is good, mixture's rich, right. and seatbelts are on. Cherokee 6, Charlie Alpha, Roger, squawk VFR, runway 27 right, cleared for takeoff, wind 28010, make a straight out departure. 27 right, clear for uh, straight out departure, 6 Charlie Alpha. So 7 right, Yankee, change 2, runway 27 left, runway 27 left, clear to land, wind 280 at Niner. 27 left, clear to land, Charlie 7, runway Yankee. Clear to land. Got a whole big runway ahead of us, we're gonna do great. Seven Alpha is going to Neil Aviation. Number Seven Seven Alpha, Roger. Turn left on Bravo. Hold short runway two seven left. Remain my frequency. Left on Bravo. Hold short two seven left. Nine four seven seven Alpha. Our reads in. Mixture's coming lean. Number Seven Seven Alpha, cross runway two seven left and contact ground. Cross runway two seven left and contact ground. Nine four seven seven Alpha. And ground per our nice little sheet here is one two one point seven. 
Gillespie Ground, Cessna 90477 Alpha, off of runway 27 left at Bravo, taxi at Neal Aviation. Cessna 9477 Alpha, Gillespie Ground, Neal, taxi via Delta Cross runway 35. Delta Cross runway 35, 9477 Alpha. Well, it's always an eventful time flying in here from traffic to ATC being super busy to wind to heat to just about everything. So I am so glad that we made it. All right, we're clear to cross. And I'm so excited to leave this plane in Neil Aviation's hands because I know that they will do an amazing job. So once we get to Neil, because it is a Saturday, I don't think we're going to do a whole lot in the shop. I cannot wait to share what Neil Aviation does with this airplane. Number eight five zero. Roger. Verify you have information. Whiskey. Runway two seven right. Taxi via Alpha Delta Cross. Runway two five. Alpha Delta three five two seven left. You said, and we have a whiskey. We'll turn all of our avionics off. Right, so. Turn this off. Beacons off. Pull the mixture. Another retail friend, so cute. Another Bonanza, and the 150 Hill Dragger. All right, take one last look. Everybody say bye, little ugly. It's been a couple weeks, but we are back at Neely Aviation and let's go see what's new with the 140. As you can see, the panel is pretty much completely empty. There's nothing left except for this original panel piece that's in here and a whole lot of wiring. And all of the panel covers and instruments and everything are on a table outside. They've been paint stripped, the yokes have been paint stripped, everything's been cleaned off and is ready to be basically refurbished and put back on the panel. Today I got to talk to James who is basically designing the entire panel and making sure we have all of the parts that we need. And then I also got to talk to Chris who is the painter who will be painting and powder coating all of the panel pieces and also a lot of this railing up here. So I got to talk to them about different colors that we were thinking about for the panel and I showed them some photos that I had saved as inspiration. So I think we're going to go with a nice light tan color across the whole panel and then do a lot of silver little details similar to what's on the Bonanza. So it's always a little sad and scary to see your airplane torn apart like this, but after all of the work that Neil did on the Bonanza, I definitely have no doubts that it's going to be amazing when it's done. To give you an idea of what it's going to look like, down here on the far bottom left is the avionics stack. It's very similar to the Bonanza where the avionics are located in this bottom left corner. And we're going to be putting the GNX375 GPS and transponder on the top and then the GNC255 Navcom on the bottom. And the 255 actually serves as an intercom as well. So no need for an audio panel. It'll be a super, super simple avionics stack right there. And in this panel, there are five different slots for instruments. So two of them will be replaced with the GI-275 attitude indicator and HSI. I think what we're going to do is put the attitude indicator in this second slot right here and then put the HSI in the bottom, which I think will look super cool with like the whole map view right in the center of the panel. I think it'll look awesome. We're also going to be replacing all of the knobs that were in the panel with kind of different color knobs that will match better. All of this is getting painted, powder coated, everything. So ignore the appearance right now. It's going to look so different. And Neil is also going to fabricate a new circuit breaker stack down here. And we're also going to be moving the headset jacks that were down here over to the side of the panel. It was super annoying to have the headset jacks right here because the cables would come straight down over the flaps and also in front of the trim. So oh, it'll be nice to have those moved out of the way to the side so that this area is clear and the flaps are super easy to access. 
We still have all of the old lights on the plane, but these are all going to be replaced with watt LEDs, which is going to look super good. We will also be replacing the landing lights with new watt lights, which are so bright. I have them on the Bonanza. We are also going to be putting new watt LED nav and strobe lights on the plane. We'll be replacing the current ADS-B out solution that the plane currently has. Super excited to see that gone as well. I think the next time we see the 140, it's going to be a lot less ugly than it was when we first brought it down and certainly less ugly than it is right now. Everybody say goodbye, little ugly. So we are back at Neil Aviation to pick up 9477 Alpha. I am so excited and I cannot wait to share the updated panel with you guys, but I am only going to give you guys a little sneak peek because I'm gonna wait until the paint is done, the interior is done, to show you guys at the very end of the transformation. So you'll get to see a little sneak peek of some of the details on the panel, but we're going to keep the entire panel a secret for now. But today we are going to take the plane on a test flight and then fly it back to Camarillo.